Now let us do some experiments in sound. We will see how sound can be generated like how we can convert an electrical signal into sound signal and convert sound back into electricity and also how to measure the frequency of sound and see other phenomena like interference of sound extra. So, we will use a piezoelectric disc for making sound like if you apply some voltage signal to that it will generate the sound of corresponding frequency. So, let us use this piezoelectric disc for generating sound. So, what we have to do is we connect this to one of our square wave generators here either square, square 1 or square 2 and apply a voltage to that. So, we have connected square 1 to one of the piezo and let us set the frequency of this to you can see some sound it is you can hear and some sound it is making and the frequency of this generated sound can be controlled by changing the frequency of square 1. See now it is something like 5 kilohertz and you come down and you notice that somewhere around 3.5 the amplitude is going up. Okay. So, this is how we generate sound. Now, the next question is how do we capture sound? If you see here on this unit there is a built in microphone and this can capture sound signals and this captured signal is amplified and is available on this terminal marked as mic. So, this mic output we should connect to one of our voltage measurement terminals A1. So, let us connect this. Okay. Now, the mic output is connected and let us generate the sound again. And now, if you bring this near the microphone, you can see the view the captured sound. So, now have a look at the screen you can see the captured waveform here and the amplitude goes up you if you move the microphone near the sound source and also you can see the frequency is shown here the measured frequency is shown here. So, let us stop this. So, we have already seen how to generate sound and how to capture sound and measure its frequency. Now, we will connect one more sound source. So, that means, we will have two of them working at the same time, but at slightly different frequency and see what happens. Say, we will just set one to something like 3500 and another one as maybe a couple of 100 hertz more and see the resultant sound. So, the second one is now connected to square 2. So, we have both these things connected and we should generate sound from both and the sound should fall on the microphone both of them. So, here from the experiments menu let us select interference of sound. So, that program will allow to set both the frequencies. So, here we are setting square 1 to 3500 hertz and square 2 to 3600 hertz. So, let us start that. So, you can see or you can feel there is some low frequency sound some 100 hertz sound also you can feel. So, we stop this and change this frequency slightly differently or we let us sample a little bit more points start it again. So, now if you look at the screen what you see is actually the beat the sound beats like this envelope shown here this is due to the beats. So, the beat frequency you can calculate I mean one period is start from one minima to other minima and what is calculated from here that means this if this is one cycle that will be the difference frequency 
and at the moment it is 100 hertz. So, we have seen how sound can be generated from an electrical signal and how sound can be captured and converted into an electrical signal and the phenomenon of interference.